Namaste. Welcome back to Sacred Sagittarius Angels Answers All. Your host here, Tigra, your Sagittarius channel here on YouTube, bringing you deck reviews that can be used by all content creators, those of you who are psychic, spiritualists, or if you just use cards for your personal justification for your own personal journey. This is a great review today that I'm so excited to do. This is the first time I've been engaged with this creator. Her name is Daisy E. Johnston. You can visit Daisy at her same name at www.daisyejohnston.com and you can also visit Daisy by her name Daisy E. Johnston at her Etsy shop. She gifted me this beautiful deck that I'm so excited to use to put into my rotation on my channel and also to share with you. Please show your support and love to Daisy by checking out her shop, placing an order of this deck or putting it on your wish list or gifting it to someone. It is such a unique deck and I'm just like, I'm just breathtaken by the difference of the deck and the concept and the wording and the meanings behind it. I know this is going to be one of my future go-to decks for many, many, many years. So I thank Daisy for giving me this opportunity to receive this deck, to fall in love with it, and just be so anxious to bring it to other creators and other spiritualist homes because it really is one that I feel that you will want in your collection. So when you have a chance, tap into the information that I put below or you can go straight to Etsy to the site, same name. So I'm introducing you today to the deck review of Daisy E. Johnston's Inner Light Insight Cards. Inner Light Insight Cards by Daisy E. Johnston. Again, you can find her at Etsy. What I love about this, I was surprised when I opened up the box, I got a linen cloth bag. Now, many of you know some of the bags that I've gotten from the deck reviews that I've done in the past. They've been either like in a velvet or the chiffon taffeta. This is in the linen cloth bag. And another bonus, this is the second bag in my lifetime of getting or buying decks that I've actually received a bag that has the inscription of the title of the deck on the bag. If you remember last week when I did the Goddess Within, the Black Goddess Within review, she was the first one with the satin blue bag. Her fonts were very smaller and it was silver, but that was the first bag that I thought it was ingenious to put the title on the bag. And now my second with Daisy and Daisy, her particular bag, it's linen, but I also love the fact that she made the font so much bigger. And this is great if you have a lot of decks like myself. I don't know how everyone else manages their decks, but when I first got my decks and I started my collection, I took them out the boxes and I bought all these bags, you know, through the internet. Some I got special made from Etsy creators to go with my particular decks. But then after a while, it was like I had so many decks and so many bags. And some of them, yes, I knew which deck was in that bag. But then it just got to be a little too much. And then thank God I saved the boxes. I put them back in the boxes. But there are still a few that I still keep in their custom-made bags. Or it's just easier for me to gravitate to them because I associate them with that bag. So this is not going to be a problem. This is a great benefit. If you have a lot of bags, you'll know as soon as you see this, what it is. Okay. And that's what makes it unique. And not too many decks come in linen bags. So this will be a go-to deck. Trust me, if you purchase this deck, this will be a go-to deck and you will definitely want to have your hands on it. So we thank her for her creativity of the satchel. It is a linen satchel. And another good thing about linen, this could be washed, right? You can hand wash it, air it out to dry. Her deck is so unique and so different. First, let's talk about <clears throat> the style of her deck. With dealing with a round deck. This is my first deck review. And even when I did deck reviews, years ago before I went on my break a year ago from YouTube I never did a deck review of a circle deck I'm trying to think do I own a circle deck I own heart shaped decks square decks this might be I think this is actually my first circle deck but this isn't just a circle deck 
So let's break it down. First of all, it's a beautiful circle deck with the yellow hues. I love the simplicity, but yet the ambiance of the colors of the yellow. All face cards are the same. It is a round deck. You know, it's some people don't necessarily like round decks. Um, this particular one I like because I like the size of it. I've seen other round decks where they're much bigger and they are very difficult to shuffle. Um, what I like about this particular deck, as you can see, I can span it out. It is and does have a gloss finish. And like I said, it fits in the palm of my hand, so it is not difficult to use. We're gonna go to her face card and let me see. I would say there's definitely gotta be at least 50 cards here. So let's go to her first face card. Let's understand the concept of Daisy E. Johnson and these beautiful inner light inside cards. They're round, number one. Two, their color theme is yellow on the face side. And then the keyword side or the definition is black highlighted in yellow captured in a white background and that is uniform throughout all the cards that doesn't that doesn't vary okay so there's no photo images other than what i like to this reminds me of a sundial i don't know why i'm thinking of the sundial or the sun in the middle that is standard throughout all the cards so i'm just going to give you a few minutes just to look and absorb the energy of this and try reading through the camera how to use the inner light inside cards. So this is her introduction to you on how to use the cards. This, when I say this is ingenious, this is so incredible. I've never seen a deck like this if you have comment on the bottom, but it's like a spin dial. <laughs> the deck is like a spin dial. Just as you see, I'm gonna use my pointer, as you see, you're going to read it like like you're going around the clock. And that is how you're going to do it, read it. And I thought that was like so fabulous. So let's try this first card. How to use the inner light inside cards. Okay. Okay, so in, in, inside cards. So this is, this is the catch. You got to kind of keep going because as you go around the more deeper you go in and until you get to the end so how to use the inner light inside cards you turn around you go to the next word focus focus on your intention whether it be deep insight or a quick bit of guidance and shuffle the cards pull as many cards as you like and soak in what they have to share with you. Did you see how I did that like a pinwheel? So you're reading it counterclockwise and you're spinning it around. I just thought that was so ingenious. I feel like a little kid. Like a, <laughs> I feel like I have a, this beautiful science experiment in my hand and I just love it. The simplicity of the deck, the soft tone of the yellow but yet it is so different just by this doing this simple little eccentric thing to it it makes it be like no other deck you will own and i love it i love the concept i love the colors i love the ease of it for some people it may be a little bit too much work for them to be turning it around they might feel like they're gonna get dizzy but for me i appreciate it and i welcome it and i adore it so thank you so much Daisy, I, I, I'm just, I just think it's ingenious, like I said, and you will not find another deck like that. And each card is the same way. So this first card is change is coming. So you're going to know by the bold caption what your key word is or the introduction to that particular card. Change is coming. Then you turn towards, you're turning towards your left and you continue. The world is always moving and evolving. Change is the only true constant. Embrace the flow of life and like constant embrace the flow of life and allow new things to come to you 
as they will. So what this card is explaining to you, change is inevitable. We can't stop change. You have to change. You have to evolve right to embrace it that the world is always moving and evolving and if the world is always moving and evolving then you too must do the same change is the only true constant embrace the flow of life and allowing new things to come to us as they will and that's what part of change does it brings things or people or situations into our life some unexpected some expected some we welcome some we don't welcome but it's all part of our growing cycle the next card is love lifts you higher true unconditional love will help you overcome fear for being in a state of love offers you deeper understanding and allows resistance to melt away it helps you rise above the worries. Now, I hope you're getting the way how I'm look. I'm reading it, okay? So I'm taking the card. I'm going, lifting it up directly to the bold and biggest font that is highlighted. That is your key meaning to the card. Simplify your reality. Simplify your reality. Then if you want to go into deeper meaning, for some of you, if doing the little pinwheel spin is too much, then just go with the top caption. Simplify your reality. You could just work off of that. Make things simple for yourself. Don't make things complicated, right? What if you want to go more deeper, then you can spin and do shed the clutter in your mind and the clutter all around you. Give yourself the chance to focus in on what matters without all the distractions around you and within you. Wow. Now you notice the two ways I did it. You can do it singly or, you know, if you want to be a little more steady, again, it's just personal preference. Being whole and holy. You are holy and complete right now. You don't need you don't have to do anything to get there. You always have been and you always will be. Embrace that you already are. Now, be careful when you do read, especially if you're reading it out like you're doing a reading. There are punctuation marks, but, you know, because you're, you're so busy <laughs> focusing on spinning it around, just make sure that you pause and break. The next card beauty is everywhere so again if you if it was too complicated for you to keep spinning it and you just wanted to work with beauty is everywhere there is beauty in everywhere there's beauty in everyone if we choose to see and look for it look around you use all of your senses there is beauty all around you if you're willing to experience it smell it taste it feel it hear it see it immerse yourself in it so I hope you're capturing the way how I am doing this. Now, I don't know what the quantity is on uh, or her inventory on Daisy's Inner Light Insight Card Oracle deck. And I'm not sure how long it's going to be out, you know, for availability. And again, this is a type of deck you're not going to see anywhere else. You're not going to be able to purchase anywhere else. So I really urge you if you vibe with this if you can sense that this is a deck that you want to add to your collection that really you can embrace and love not only because of the design of it and the concept but <laughs> the content of it is also fantastic and and that's a big plus it's like a win-win with this deck so please don't hesitate you know if you're not sure if you want to get it but you have some interest reach out to Daisy and say, hey, you know, I'm interested in the deck. I saw the deck review with, with Tigra. You know, I might not have the money right now to get it, but, you know, are you going to be having it, you know, available, you know, for the next couple of weeks, the month, year, you know, is, or do you have a cutoff? Because some creators, you know, do have a cutoff. They only make a certain amount of decks and then they stop or they'll make enough 
for what's, you know, what's on demand. And then they might put you on a waiting list or let you know when they make a second batch. Some creators, as you know, they'll even do like a second edition where they'll tweak it or they'll add more. So again, I'm not sure what Daisy's positioning or thinking is on this. And I'm only saying this because looking at this deck and appreciating the value and the beauty and what it's going to do for me personally and what it's going to add to my readings. Do not hesitate with this, I'm telling you. Because if you don't get it and then you come across it in a reading or you see it on someone else's channel or you see it in my rotation and then you go to get it and it's like it's not available, you're going to be like, you know what, I should have listened to Tigra and gotten it when she suggested to. And just look how beautiful as I laid the cards out, how beautiful it looks. It's a very simple deck in, as far as the look, but it's simple enough that it is warm, inviting, simplistic. And it just, everything goes together with this. I mean, from the yellow sundial type of prism from the backing of the card to the simple colors of the yellow, black, and white. It just goes so well together. Let's continue. Create just for you. You don't need an audience to create, make something, do something for the sole purpose of enjoying it. Do it simply because you love it and it brings you joy. You are worthy. There are many voices that they try to tell you otherwise. Don't believe them. The past may have told you that you aren't, but leave all of it in the past and embody your worthiness now. Take up space. Be big, step into your whole being. Don't let anyone or anything stop you from fully shining. Don't shrink yourself or water yourself down. Be boldly you. Support is available. A great card to come up in a reading when you want to know or you feel alone and you want to know is anyone out there to help you? Is help on the way? Yes, support is available. You can access support right now. You have a team of guides just waiting to help you create all you desire. Call them in and let them help you fulfill your dreams. Give thanks. Gratitude changes everything for the better. The more you give thanks for all you have, the more abundance you will be given. This is definitely a game changer. This is a fact. This is something that my subscribers who've been with me know that I always say. It's not about putting your petitions out there, but it's giving thanks for everything. Even thanks for the bad things that you've gone through in your life. Giving thanks for the prayers that haven't been answered yet. yet and especially giving thanks for the prayers that have. Always be thankful. Lean into the lessons. When you fight your circumstances, you avoid the learning. Let all that's happening flow to you. Examine what's happening and embrace the lessons. Lean into the lessons. And especially with my Saggies and all signs of the Zodiac, I know that many of you focus on your love life. But the main thing why many of you suffer so much when it comes to love is because you don't lean into the lessons that were being taught to you during those failed relationships. Celebrate fear's presence. When fear arises, know it's helping you level up. Growth happens outside your comfort zone. Fear is the indicator that amazing things are on their way if you're brave enough to do them wow like i said what i love about this deck i love the colors i love the concept i love the ease of the use it's a different concept i think it's fun innovative but more important than that 
the messages, the messages, the messages and the guidance in the cards are priceless. This pertains to everyone in every aspect of life. So not only are you getting a beautiful deck and one that's unique and funny in a sense, you're getting a deck that you can use in relationships, financial, any aspect of your life. This will be a deck, like I said, you will definitely have this as one of your go-to decks on your altar, in your car, your purse, wherever you carry your decks. Listen, I'm even suggesting getting two. And don't laugh because I have some decks where I have two of them because I love them that much. And I want to preserve one. Or I'll keep one for my home base and then the other if my child will go away or just to keep on me. So yes, this, these are one of the decks that I'm suggesting that you should have too. So I might be knocking on <laughs> Daisy's door myself getting a second deck to travel with because that's how strongly I feel about this deck. So if I put that energy out there and then people start buying too, that's even more of a reason why you better hop on the bed and get this deck while it's still available we continue on with feelings power creation follow your feelings to your desires your likes and dislikes will lead you to what you can create from your soul there is power in letting your feelings guide you okay i'm gonna go to a few in silence right now i'm gonna try to spin it and then I might stop and just let you see the top caption. So this way you can get used to working with the deck, one by concentrating on the keyword or by using the full definition. Meet yourself with gentleness. Take a light bath. Imagine a pitcher above your head, pouring out infinite light. Let the light wash over you, touching every nook. 
and cranny of your being, inside and out. Embrace vulnerability. Being vulnerable can be scary, but allows you to connect more deeply with both yourself and the ones you love. Let your true self be seen. Wow, you know what I just realized? And I don't know if you just caught it on camera. I'm not sure if, if Daisy meant it this way, but another way that you can spin this, so we can do it with our fingers, right? Just going around. We can do it double-handed if you're kind of unshaky, you know, or not sturdy. But I just noticed you can also put your thumb here in the middle of the sun, the yellow sun there, and, and use that as a guide to just spin it around also, right? Yeah, I just, I just noticed that. Again, I don't know if that's part of the concept of why she did that, but that works as well. Learn from nature. Nature is your greatest teacher. Let the flowers show you that you should bloom. When you're ready, let the tree teach you to stand strong. Let the sun remind you to shine. Find nature's teachings. Release your burdens. By holding on to your burdens, you limit all you can do. When you release the heavy weight you carry, you liberate yourself, allowing yourself to expand and grow. Reach for help. Shift your perspective. Peace through chaos. Accept who you are. Allow yourself to heal. Life flows through you. Commune with nature. Dream big. Let your desires expand. There is no limit to what you can create in your life. You can accomplish far more than you ever imagined possible. Trust your inner knowing. Only you know what's right for you. If you listen to your own voice, you will know what path to take and what choice to make. Speak up. Connect with earth cycles. Inner creates outer. Movement is medicine. Sit in silence. Wonderful things happen in silence. You can hear the subtle whisperings of your soul. When you make time to listen, you will always hear what you need to know. I always say move in silence, sit in silence, same energy. Final card is all you need is you. You don't need any gadgets, trinkets, books, or opinions to grow. Learn and connect to yourself. Trust in your own power and seek knowledge within. Come on, tell me you don't love this deck. Tell me you don't give this deck a 10 out of 10s, five stars. This is a heavy hitter. This is a must have go to deck for your collection. Whether you're a novice, you're just starting out, or you've been into tarot or your spiritual journey, if you own a spa, what a great gift to give to clients. I'm telling you, this is really a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful deck. I mean, I, I really do love this deck. And I'm going to make a vow and commitment right now to Daisy and to my subscribers. If I make, let's say, 2,500 subscribers between now and the end of this year, I will definitely gift this deck to a subscriber, subscriber in a lotto. If I get to 2,500 before the end of the year, that I'm definitely making that commitment because that's how much I believe in this deck. I, again, just want to thank Daisy for this lovely opportunity, bringing us to her world of the inner light cards. Find Daisy Johnson, E. Johnston at her site of the same name on the 
website and also at Etsy. Again, can't speak enough of the deck. The color, the round cards. If you've never had round cards before and you wanted to introduce round cards, this is definitely the deck to do it. It's a nice round size. It's not too big. It has a nice gloss, sturdy, you know, not too light, not too heavy finish. The font is clear enough to read. I mean, the, the, the meaning in the words alone, everything about this deck, the, the, the unique concept and the, the words and the knowledge and the help and guidance that you're going to get from just this one deck alone. You can use it alone. You can use it combined with your oracle cards, with your tarot. You can use it how you see fit. Like I said, it's a wonderful gift. If you have a spa, a salon, or just a gift that you want to give to those that you love that might be going through something, what a great way to, for them to have this to get through life and to give them positive motivation to deal with the things that we all deal with in life. So again, let's thank Daisy for this beautiful deck of the Inner Light Insight Cards. Stop by her Etsy shop. I will put a link below. Thank you for watching and continue to support these wonderful creators like Daisy. Namaste. And if and when you do get the deck or you stop by her shop, just let her know that Tigra sent you over to her shop. And if you purchased the deck, come on back to the video and comment below and let us know your experience with it. But like I said, it is a one-of-a-kind deck. It is so unique and different. There's no other deck like that out there. And just beyond the style and the look and the uniqueness, the concept and the content, the value and the wisdom that she's giving you is priceless. Thank you again and be well.